the issue would be getting across what I'm talking about. Like I'd say, oh, you know, Sweetacoon. And they'd be yeah. like, no, I, I don't know Sweetacoon, the I legendary dog. Sweet. No, that's Sweetacoon, Jesse. Sweetacoon. <laughs> Sweetacoon is nothing. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. Are you before. sure about that? I'm Are positive. You sure? You're not Check referring. You're not talking to the North Wind, Suicune, the Pokemon. Suicune. I would have sworn that his name was Suicune. Nope, it's Suicune. We're here, Jesse. Earthquakes. Oh, can't ho, stop me. Ho. Merry Christmas, well, it's, little boy. It, it's it's way past Christmas. I was going with something that will be old news by the time this uh, comes out, but it's much more recent news than yours. All right, go ahead. Tell me. We already tell it true. No, I'm done. I was gonna talk about earthquake-related stuff, but I'm now I'm more interested <laughs> in the fact that you seemed to want to do a Christmas thing. No, like I was, it was a joke because I've been trying to make like this entire series like the Christmas episode, but it is oh, New Year's. It's New Year's Day right now. Yeah, it is. Oh my God, we should have been recording and, Hunter Call of the Wild. Fuck. Why yeah, are we Jeffrey did uh, notify me of that. The fact that we did not send him any Hunter Call of the Wild <laughs> this year. Shit. Well, yeah, we both forgot about that. But no one, no one checked. No one sent me any, uh, any like, oh, are you okay, Dan? Did you get <laughs> swept away by the tsunami? No one was concerned Nobody for knows. my well-being. Nobody heard about this earthquake in Japan. I heard about it. And I was I was yeah, waiting sure. I was waiting by my phone for a call to be like someone to check up on me, make sure I wasn't dead. <laughs> you gotta make it more like serious though. Next time like my, my your parents mom calls my parents you or fucking they texted me about how it was my dad's like biannual taco party and they sent me a bunch of pictures about how great it was and how much fun oh, everyone man. had at the taco party. Yeah, I mean, I would definitely feel like I was missing out, but I loved it because time, I would eat so many tacos. I love tacos. But what's just stopping you from doing that like any day? You because want, Mexican you know? food doesn't live in Japan. They don't believe in it. This is what you need to do, Dan. You need to uh, get a Mexican food truck and take it to the people that have been displaced by the earthquake. And like you'll make national news, like you'll become famous. I'm I'm then signed start, up like, to go friend. help because I I'm I don't live in a place that got hit that bad. But I'm signed up to go help for like emergency relief things, and I've also been waiting for that call. Like send me in, boss. Like I'm ready to wait, go wait. lift some rubble. But I have this is been insane. I can't believe you have not told me about this. Like you you volunteered, or did somebody reach out to you? No, I volunteered when I got here. To be a hero of justice. You yeah, to... of course I did. Jesse, are you surprised at all by that? Oh, dude, I love it. That's like whenever, whenever I like first get here, like right off the boat, they're like, hey, like, are you a hero of justice? And I'm like, fuck yeah, you know I am. Sign me up, bitch. Oh, dude, that's great. You have to keep us updated like, if they call you for like whatever reason. They probably won't, though. I don't know. If they do, I'd be pretty hyped. But. Yeah, but they they say like, oh, like look at this strong American lad, like this strong, this this red, red white and blue blooded like just if, absolute unit. Like we'll get him in. If I had to Save guess, us. if they actually did use me for anything, it would probably be for translating, like to talk to like other foreign people who live in the affected areas. Yeah, like a terrorist situation. <laughs> Trying to. to all right, this intro, this intro has gone online. Hostage. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I want to know where all our girls are. What are you talking about, all our girls? There's, there's usually a girl in the office. There's no girls. In it's because of the earthquake. Hollow Live suspended activity. Oh. But uh, I learned something, Jesse. And anyone... Mm -hmm. This this you can blame me, but I'll also blame you for letting me live the way <laughs> I do, okay? Okay. So... You know how there's that voltage thing, right? Whenever in this you're game, whenever you're in a level, there's like the there's a little voltage counter on the screen, and we were like, "What's that for?" And I skipped the tutorial. Mm -hmm. Turns out the voltage level is equal to you know, like your symphony effects, how many different instruments you have active at a time for like each unit. Okay. The higher your voltage number, the faster you get motivation. Oh man. 
So it's beneficial to have a mixed crew of different instruments for your people. And also- I feel like we knew that subconsciously though. But we didn't know why. And, but it also means to as early as you can get a mixed bag of people out in the fight. So you have a higher voltage for the rest of the fight. Cause once you, if you get like five voltage, it never goes down. Even if you lose the units. Now you're trying to metagame it too much. Like I, I think we were doing good enough. Like I don't think we need to change our strategy. We just kind of go with like what we're, we're feeling. See, because that's because I tested this out. That's the next thing I'm going to ask you, because mm -hmm. now there is benefit to using this, the little rabbit one guy. But unless you think that's too metagaming oh. it just to use him to get higher voltage as a sacrificial pawn. I see because he's a clarinet. OK, oh, I'm seeing it now. French so, horn, clarinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So our option is we can keep him to metagame it, or we can go back to the little circus boy. And that's kind Who's of like... Who's the little circus boy? This guy riding on the ball, who was like our anti-red weapon. We had him last time? I we, thought we didn't we, like him. We briefly tested him. Oh, he headbutts people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I honestly, I'm fine either way because we do have a, all of them are pretty much different. I don't think we have anybody that crosses over on the team on the screen. So it's the same thing. If you put that guy in, you just have to wait a little longer to put a, put up. All right, we'll stick with this for now. This current lineup. The beast and the bird both have the same instrument. No, they don't. That's not the same thing. The beast and the bird. What are you talking about the beast? Oh, the beast is not on our team. I know, I'm just pointing that out. Oh, okay, saying, like, okay, okay, okay. Have, like, I thought you meant someone on our team. Yeah. Like the dog and the one girl have the same instrument. Yeah, that's why oh, two this, of the girls have the same instrument. That's why this current lineup is, uh, is our best, I think. With potentially swapping out the rabbit for this guy if we had to. I don't know. We could probably get rid of Miko and I'd be okay with that, but... She's our best unit, yeah. though. And, no, and she has a, a trombone. No one else got that trombone. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's get in the air. Did you say there's like a special New Year's thing we should be doing? I It said there was. I don't know what it is, though. New Year's gift. It's three tickets. We only need to beat one stage? I have no idea. Let's Although, how it. hard will it be? Are, what if it's too difficult for us? Nah. Then this will be our boss. We can metagame this time. So where do you see the the the, the voltage? The, see at the see at the top. Uh, <laughs> and the highest you can get is voltage level five. The highest you can get is voltage level eight if you have all eight out at once with different oh, instruments. Okay. Oh, yeah, that motivation's going up a lot. I see it. Get a dog in there. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. We're done meta gaming. I mean, I think with the meta game, like you gain all this power. We didn't we didn't have the I, knowledge before, but now we do. I I want to just go with what I'm feeling. I'm thinking that, yeah, I, that's exactly what I was I was. Gonna Although do. they are about to get a Super Saiyan enemy, which is always like the end for us. We don't put any more dudes out right now. It's fucking Quetzalcoatl. Like, what is that? It's like a it's like the shrine, the palaquin. They carry it. And it's got like the mochi oh, hammer. See. I think we could have sent more guys out, potentially won this fight. Yeah, but he's not very strong. So we'll, we'll, we want the coins to be down because it makes for more interesting. Um, did I say coins? Yeah, <laughs> I the, the coins. Chips to be down. Yeah, I think we might just, I think content. we just go for it because we're just going to win. Yeah, I think we're going to win here. Well, thanks for your very easy fucking New Year's stage. We can't be stopped. Too powerful. Voltage level seven. Oh, Dan's doing the full meta game now. We won't get eight though. So you say costs so much. She's like what? A, a symbol? She's a, yeah. Air drum? The, She's the, like tambourines. Not the tambourines though. What are they called? Symbols, right? Yeah, yeah. Yay! Happy New Year! What is that? It's oh, it's the only, it's the fortune thing. How do we use it? So what did you do for New Year's, Dan? <sighs> New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? 
New like what's more important in Japan? Like how hard do they go on New Year's Eve? Not as hard. I mean, the only thing you do is like you go to the shrine at midnight. The shrine. Yeah. And the ghosts like, come out. Like a local shrine. I didn't notice any ghosts. Jesse, we got that thing, but how do I activate it? What was it even? I don't know what it is. It's it's. I don't know what it is either. But you see them and you kind of and a little bead comes out and you're like, oh, it's you're lucky or you're not. It's like I'm talking to an insane person. I have no idea what he's. It's on just about. like a random. Wait, 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 hold on. Dan, you you get twenty thousand coins if you beat this one, and you get five tickets if you beat all of it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you can use those coins. I thought we were done. I thought we already beat it. But... No, we're not. It's not done yet, baby. All right, let's get the the meta voltage level going. What we, but like in the sense of the game. Oh, you know what I bet it is? It's probably a support card, right? Oh, maybe that makes sense. So did you go to a shrine? Yep. And what did you do? You just kind of go and it's really busy. So I didn't really do anything. Like you can do the normal stuff you do at a shrine, like pray or get your fortune or buy a little, uh, like, what are they called? I forget. A little talisman. But, oh, uh, those, like, yeah, yeah. I see them on the, the, with the, you know, the show where they send the kids out? Oh, yeah, <laughs> send, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. The Japanese, um. Where they just like, send, like, kids to do a chore. But, like, it's your first war. day out. <laughs> they make them snort gunpowder and cocaine. Uh-huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. AK-47. Yeah, yeah, they sent them to go shopping, yeah. But they always, like, they always have, like, their little, like, a uh, little talisman thing to protect them. But, uh, I don't, I didn't do any of that kind of stuff, because it's just hella busy. Who, who tells you your fortune? You get, you buy a little piece of paper, and it's like, oh, good luck, bad luck. So somebody's writing these, somebody's, like, pre-writing fortune. No, well, that most of, at most shrines I go to, they're printed ahead of time. Oh, I, why? We're never going to get the uh, My Girl out because you're never going to save up for it. For Suisei? Yeah. Why? When did she become your girl? Well, I, she's the one I identify with more than Miko. You know I like Suita-kun. Oh, out of you the two like of them. I was just confused because it seems like you the, the one that becomes your girl is very dependent on your situation. Well, once you just we mean get, like, Miko or Suisei, you like Suisei more. No, I do like Suisei. Like, you, yeah, if you ask me to pick my favorite out of Gen Zero, I would pick Suisei. Okay. I don't know anything about her, but I just I like her vibe. You, yeah. Okay. Once we get Mio, oh, it is. Or like, You're right. Um, nice. Oh, this is the fortunes. This is what you're talking about. Yeah mysterious power okay all right oh this isn't right happy new year what, what, what was your new year's like and then on my new year's day there was an earthquake <laughs> the, i had the opposite i didn't go to a shrine i went to somebody's house and we were in the basement and they had a keg of a keg of Iron City, like very, very cheap beer. A keg okay. of Iron City, and they had a Mortal Kombat arcade like machine. Oh, I wish I was uh, there. Like I would have so much rather been there. <laughs> and then we played Stump for like four hours. <laughs> there was a lot of Stump being done. I love Mortal Kombat machines. I thought you were gonna say I love Stump. No. <laughs> you did you ever play Stump with us in college? I feel like you did for sure. Yes. Or do you think I just wasn't ever invited? The many times. No, you that... were definitely. <laughs> the way the way you said they're trying that... to overrun us. Yeah, there's Dude, so many this. of them. There's so many of them. They're going nuts. But Miko's area of effect, so she's gonna take them all out at once. We need a pirate or something. We don't need a pirate. So I had to. Ex my dad asked me what we did. I did last night because I went over my family for New Year's Day, and so I had to explain to my dad what Stump was, and he was like. That seems like a, a dangerous game. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god, that's so powerful. 
Yeah. For all you people who don't know what stump is, you just get a big piece of wood and everybody gets a nail and Typically you have to like, a stump. flip the hammer. Yeah, like a stump. Like the titular stump. And then you have to smash other people's nails in while drinking. Yeah, you have to you throw you flip the hammer up and catch it. And then hit their nail. There's such a like there's such a dichotomy though with like women and men. Like like women always going on about equal treatment and stuff like that. But anytime a wo a woman will get the chance to throw the hammer like five times. Like, but a dude like fucks up the hammer once and everybody's like, oh, like what a fucking pussy. This guy doesn't know how to hammer. Oh, we're getting both out. Jeez. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. She's got like the bolt. Yeah. Bolt from the heavens. Now we just need to get Mio. I want to get Mio or, um... Takuma's not in the game. No. There's a Corone, though. We could get Corone. Yeah. We could get the bunny girl, who supposedly is my, like, significant other. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The girl that I would most date out of all the Hall Live girls from that quiz that I took. Yes. You know what we should be doing? We should be doing more Hall Live quizzes, like while we play this game. <laughs> We're gonna bring that back as a segment. The Hall like, Live next, quizzes. Next time. next time we play this. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that, but good luck. Because I think at this point in my life, I'm not a complete Hall Live newbie. Like I know enough about Hall Live that like. I couldn't hold like a serious conversation, but I could talk to somebody about Hollow Live. Yeah, you have an interesting kind of like point of knowledge because there's a lot of things you don't know, which Hollow Live fans would expect someone to know, but then you know a lot of other really specific stuff. The issue would be getting across what I'm talking about. Like, I'd say, oh, you know, Sweetacoon. And they'd be yeah. like, no, I, I don't know Sweetacoon, the I legendary dog. Sweet. No, that's Suicune, Jesse. Suicune. Suicune is nothing. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. Are you before. sure about that? I'm Are positive. You sure? You're not Check referring. You're not talking to the North Wind, Suicune, the Pokemon. Suicune. I would have sworn that his name was Suicune. Nope, it's Suicune. And also, people call them the legendary dogs, but they're cats. Are they? I, I just like to also say that. Oh yeah, the one's like a saber tooth tiger. Yeah. I guess that's fair. I'm trying to even think. What's the like the one? Don't tell me. I'm gonna you know, try to think of like the name of like the 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 fire one oh, that everybody okay. talks about. I won't. Uh, that everyone talks about. <laughs> he's, he's like he's the poster child because he had a movie about him with unknown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't say his yeah, name like, though. When we were kids, like that's the one that like kids would be like, "Oh shit, you have one of those in your deck," and it'd be like, "If you have one of those, like that's that's the best." Uh, it's not Arcanine, but he kind of looks like Arcanine. Yeah, that's true. Um, ooh, it's a ooh, big beast, dude. That guy's tough. Is it Duck now? I I'm not gonna get it. Is it like Gremolata? Like, it starts with a G, like Gremlin Master. It does not start with a oh. G. No, Gremlin Master, you got it. That's actually it. Gremlin Master. <laughs> Gremlin Master and Sweetie It's Entei. Entei. Oh my god, we're getting fucked up here. Oh no, she can't handle the heat. She can't back up, Mr. President. You want to know something kind of fucked up? About the U.S. I president. See. Well, it, it kind what's of that, is. What's that guy been up to? He's always getting <laughs> into trouble eating that ice cream. Him and Castro. Ice cream. Yeah. My sisters. Apparently, if you want to go to the White House, you have to like fill out a form ahead of time, and like uh -huh. they have to prove it and stuff like that. And my sisters did this, and they got tickets to go see the White House on, on like not on Christmas, but close to Christmas when it's all decorated. Okay, and that's, yeah. my fucking my sisters went, my dad went, my mom did not go because she had to get surgery on her hip, and my fucking parents' neighbors went. Nobody so, invited me. <laughs> Nobody. Invited they really me. reached deep for people other than you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like literally all oh, the neighbors got the invite. I know. 
I showed up. I went to like help my mom decorate for Christmas at our house because I knew they were kind of like not around. So, and I was like, oh, where are they? Where are they? And, the, and she told me that. I was like, literally nobody asked me a single time if I wanted to go. You weren't invited. Maybe I'm they know that, that you're like on a list. Like the president specifically said like, no Jesse. Oh, yeah. He, he listened to your fanfic about, you know, Castro and Magic Milk. He was not impressed. We might he be in trouble here, boys. Yeah, they have like miniature versions of that dude that come out now. Yeah. We need more healers. No, the healers. We need a dog in the front lines. Let's go. This might be a level that's just like beyond us. Like above oh, our no. current station. Chips are down. Cards are out. It's not looking good here. So I wait, what if we aren't able to do this right now? I think we just can't then. D does the New Year's event end though? I have no idea. Oh, she's just fucking. Oh, no. We'll try again. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do it at least one more time. Give it the old college try. You didn't use your fortune support card, did you? No, I, I've. You gotta tell me, cause you know I forget about that even existing. Use your fable arts. <laughs> Just tell me. You tell me to use my fable arts, and then I'll know. We. I think part of the problem is, is like, did you ever level up that little rabbit dude? He's level seven. He's the same level as everyone else. Oh, okay. I think it's just this level is assuming we are farther in the game than we currently are. Yeah, these guys do tons of damage. Jeez. I don't know if we can wait any longer. Fuck. Oh, no. Dog, protect us. Dude, they fucked up that dog in one fell swoop. Yeah, they did. <laughs> heal, heal behind you. Oh my god. Chips are definitely down right now. We can't even make a counter push here. But that's fine. We don't want to make a counter push. Problem is we push too soon, but we don't have the troops for it. I see. Are you going to try to get Suidakun out there? I think we need more healers. Suicune takes too long. That beast. 900 damage that guy does. Wait, do we have the other one that buffs attack? No, we don't have her. <laughs> I am kind of sad, though, that we had Meta Knight and we had um, the pirate. And Dan has replaced them with this bear. This bear thing has now become like the a cat. Because it's just better. It's just a fucking ploy to make Miko like the head of head of everything now. I mean, is it a ploy? I'm I'm up front with my with my love. It's not like a secret. I'm not like trying Let's to get more birds, birds, birds. We need more ranged attackers. Oh my god, so much damage. He hits so far and so hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, it's just like the healers and Miko again. Yeah, I don't think we can beat this thing. Yeah, fuck. We had the whole crew no. out there. No, Mr. Healer. Yeah, all right. So I guess we're not going to get our... Um... But we can't do this! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got nine coins from that, I think. Okay, nice. I think it just gives you coins. So what do we do? Uh, Back to the old rhinestone. I think let's give our boys some levels here. But then I but then if we do that, we might overlevel the like actual game. 
like the like the story levels you know what i mean like the one we're currently right. on yeah let's oh dude we're, we're at the end we're, we got a hard fight ahead of us here anyway i guess let's try right, let's just try we couldn't beat this one before that's right it, no we were stuck on this for like the whole episode Let's see how it compares to what we just had to fight. Also, uh, I did something else last night too. I went to a hockey game as well. On oh New wow! Year's night. Fancy boy. And yeah, it was a good game. Did you watch the game? It was good. No, I didn't. Yeah, it was good. Backup goalie's killing it, man. He's excellent. I mean, um, the Pens need that. Yeah, Ned. Net, do, okay, let, okay. <laughs> this is kind of gonna come out like the wrong way. Like, there's no way to make this sound like good. But our backup goalie's name is Nadalkovic. Nadal Nadalkovic. Uh huh. Where do you think he's from? I would guess what Russia. All the goalies are. Yeah, you would think it's like Russia or like one of the the northern um, Scandinavian countries. Dude's American. <laughs> He's oh. from Ohio. He came out to like give a like post game interview and he had no accent. I was like, oh wow. Like I looked it up and he's just a, an Ohio born American with the name Nadalkovich. I was like, okay, cool. I wouldn't have expected that. For sure. Same with Connor Hellebuck. Like that doesn't, I guess Hellebuck's kind of like, it's not like very European, but like it's. It's definitely, like, I thought he was, like, European for sure. But he's American. Yeah, I forgot about this old hag and her fucking powerful lightning. Mm-hmm. Damn, are we, like, can we beat this game? Are we too weak? Oh, no, 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 no. I remember what we were going to do. We were putting the knights out there to block the lightning. Or we were going to do that. I don't know if we actually did or not. Uh, no, we never, we never did. But well, such things are unnecessary. It? No, we're gonna win this time. How are we better this time than we were before? Because now we know what? the secret of the the motivation. We get our dudes so much faster. Oh, Dan's metagaming it behind the scenes. Like, I'm just... We have a power that we never did before. So my point still stands from the beginning of the episode. Like now we're gonna become more powerful. Like we were already very powerful, but now. But I think it's like we've reached the the level of power that the game like expects you to have. Oh hell yeah! Get that fortune out there. Oh dude, you need to do that earlier. I'm not sure if that money actually counts for us now. Oh, we got a we got a punch. Oh, we unlocked her as well. The witch of the woods. I be the witch of Hollow Live. <laughs> Wario? <laughs> is that what Wario sounds like? Uh, this episode's it's, over. It's me, Wario. We can't talk about Nintendo again. We already talked about Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I got a good one. This is a good one. No, it, no, it isn't. <laughs> How many it times is. have you said that in the begin <laughs> before your outro bits? This will be a good one. It's never been a good one. What what like animated movie makes you nostalgic, Dan? Like which like it, it doesn't have to be Disney, but like an animated film or something. An animated film that makes me nostalgic? Uh The Prince of Egypt. Really? Okay. Like, that's an excellent movie, but, like, I don't think that's, like, a kid's movie. Like, that doesn't... It is in my household. Are you a sovereign prince of Egypt? I wish. That is one of, like, the top... Probably top five animated movies, in my opinion. At least. Either... I, mean, I would say either that or, uh... Anastasia. Ooh. That's not a particularly good one, though. In my opinion. I... I can't... I can't say that it is either, but I just remember it really well from when I was a kid. Like, Rasputin fucked with my head. Oh, yeah. The best part of that whole movie is when he sings his song, and there's that one bug that goes, like, super deep. like, in the dark of the night, evil will find her. And then the yeah. bug goes, find her. <laughs> I just remember watching that movie as a kid and, like, walking away like, fuck, Rasputin was a crazy man. 
Yeah, fuck, Rasputin was cool. And he is, like, the more you read about Rasputin, you're like, yeah, that guy, that guy was super cool. That guy fucks, like, for sure. He was odd. I wouldn't say cool. Do you have all your life still? I do, yeah. Dan, you've become too good at this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just lost one. He made me laugh. We're gonna have to fucking take Dan to, like, a Russian embassy and poison him and then shoot him. Uh, and then, like, He's put me in powerful. the ice. But yeah, like, uh, like I watched this whole like history thing about Rasputin, and he was so fucking cool. Like, he he just like fucked mad bitches, and like, and they were like, "Hey, you you're a priest, you can't do that." And he's like, "Listen, like, I'm getting rid of the sin by doing the sin. Like, if you if you yeah, say well, that like you through have orgasm, sin, like you if women yeah. orgasm by having sex with me, like that's their sins going away." Yeah, like, and it, he, he was just like a crazy motherfucker. I, we have to keep this conversation going though, because I'm not dying. Yeah, we gotta keep talking about. It. Well, did you see the second Kingsman movie that has Rasputin in it? No. Did you see the first Kingsman? No. They're not very good. They're like those movies that like people hype up, like just like fucking plebs, like hype these movies up, like oh man, like it's so fucking cool, and it's like a teenage British like, hey, think of like a James Bond reimagined. Okay. Um, but the second one take goes back in time. What? Like to his, it goes back to like the guy who taught the the main guy, like okay. how to be a, a, a stealth boy. Like it goes back to when he was learning to be a stealth boy, and it was during like pre like, World War Two. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and the like Rasputin is like one of the first dudes that he fights in the movie, and that scene is great. My dad was like, "Go watch that movie because it's good, good, good scene with Rasputin." I was like, all right, cool. Rasputin, so I watched known it. fighter? <laughs> known fighter? He's, like, like super he, powerful. Like He was hard to kill. <laughs> he's, he's known for that. Oh. But I don't think he was particularly known for being, like, the martial arts expert, Rasputin. Anyway, that's the best scene in the movie. And after that, I fell asleep because it just gets so boring. Like, you can't, like, jump the shark with the Rasputin fight and then, like, expect me to keep watching. All right, this episode's over. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.